and you're just driving your hip towards the wall. And it's actually really painful for me right now. This is why I actually had a couple beers post-training to do this. But this shit hurts. Because um, everything's real tightened over here. It's really contracted. My disc are wanting to go this way and go that way. So I've got to drive them back this way. Now, obviously, like, your low back could be totally different. You have to kind of set side to side. But if you find that, hey, I have a shift where I'm getting compacted on one side, and you'll kind of know. Like, if something like this were to happen, if your hips were to really shift, you're going to know. You're going to see it. And you're going to feel it. And you just get up against the wall. You drive your hip towards the wall. I'm basically trying to push this left hip socket more this way, the femur, the bone that runs here, further this way. And you just want to keep everything stacked. Now, that may or may not apply to you, but honestly, the more aware you are of maybe some possible ways that the body can not work as well, go along with helping you to actually move and perform better on the mats, be more vital, movement autonomy, all the little themes that I always touch upon. Hope this goes a long way. And yes, guys, I do train Jiu Jitsu. I normally don't um, film in the Jiu Jitsu setting, but I just got done training and I'm taking care of my hips post training because. One way for me to stay on the mat is to continue to do the work that I advocate to you. You know, I live, I live it, I preach it because it helps me be able to do what I love to do. So if you have any questions or any new content for me to add to you to, for the new year, I'd love to share it. Reach out to me, comment below, like, comment, subscribe. Have a good new year, guys.